Hi students, this is Alex here. Exercise 4.4, question number 1. Find the principal value of subdivision 1, secant inverse 2 by root 3. So, this is the y of the So, y is equal to secant inverse 2 by root 3. But, this is the formula. That is, secant inverse x is also equal to cos inverse 1 by x. Now, cos inverse root 3 by 2 bring at the clock the cos inverse in the book on the row so cos y equal to root 3 by 2 so cos on the positive on the first quadrant and last quadrant the principal value 0 to pi upon first quadrant at the top so either the y or value pi by 6 of the interior in a cos pi by 6 on the root 3 by 2 upon a question la put it in the secant inverse 2 by root 3 and y of the data on the y or value then you can get so therefore secant inverse 2 by root 3 equal to pi by 6 and moreover is on the belong to cos value 0 comma pi of the data the subdivision 2 pathing now cot inverse root 3 so cot inverse root 3 is the number y of the data the cot inverse root 3. Again, namakku, cot inverse x is also equal to tan inverse 1 by x of the formula. This tan inverse is equal to reciprocal 1 by root 3. Now, tan is equal to tan y equal to 1 by root 3. Now, tan is positive in the first and third. But tan is minus pi by 2. 2 pi by 2 of the So, we have the first quadrant. So, we have the theta of the So, the positive is the positive. pi by 6 tan pi by 6 is 1 by root 3. First quadrant is the same as the theta. This belongs to minus pi by 2, pi by 2. So, we have the question the cot inverse root 3 y and the value is pi by 6 of the Therefore, cot inverse root 3 equal to pi by 6 of the input law. Third subdivision cosecant inverse minus root 2. The y of the input law cosecant inverse minus root 2 of the So, we have cosecant inverse x of the sin inverse 1 by x in the math law. Now, this is sin inverse minus 1 by root 2 of the input. Then, the sin inverse in the book on the sin y equal to minus 1 by root 2. Now, sin is negative, third and fourth. But, this is the principal value minus pi by 2 to pi by 2. That is why we have fourth and fourth. Minus theta and fourth. Now, in the value of the value, we have the y. Pi by 4. In a sign pi by 4 is 1 by root 2. This is minus theta and we minus it. And this belongs to minus pi by 2, comma pi by 2. If we have y of the question, we have cosecant inverse minus root 2. Therefore, cosecant inverse minus root 2 equal to minus pi by 4.